Let's take a look at the touchdown. Derrick Henry, super run. Great job by him. But a lot of great jobs on this play. Absolutely. So, again, we talked about this formation a couple weeks ago. And base formation, right? Quarterback under center. You got 12 personnel, two tight ends, two backs, or two receivers, and, and a tailback. And, it, again, we can do a lot of different things out of here. Play action, different run games. Okay, work the screen to Derek off of this. But this is what we would call one of our bread and butter runs, okay, with Derek. And I think that you're going to see some cool things here from the end zone that I want to show you. Okay, this is basically allowing us to get into a power scheme, not allow penetration, okay, to where you're able to get some combinations, right, working up to that player there. You get some combinations working up there. You got to find a way with the receiver to take care of Fort, uh, the support, but this is going to create lanes, and I want you to see the lanes and not the penetration so Derek can hit it front side or even in this case, hit it backside. And you're going to see, you know, guys get knocked down, Peter's down, but now we're here and, and there's Derek going through, and then now he can make a break inside or outside. It okay, gives him so options. It, it, what you're saying is he has a choice here, baby? He, he does, okay. and, and he only has a choice because we're able to stay square and if you take a look at it, by square, I mean, we have some choices right there. So again, what started out at the beginning of the play was some combination blocks, just to make sure that we didn't have penetration. Okay, so here's your combinations. No penetration, no penetration. We're gonna have to eventually get off on the linebacker and then the linebacker so they don't run through. But to me and to the running back, now we let it roll, and we see that guys are covered up at the point of attack, and we're able to now have some options to go and find a way to make a cut. Derek can go front side. He can bounce. He's bounced on the corner so many different times where he's stiff-armed guys. And in this case, very rarely does he go out the back door, but you're going to see now Peter get back up. Okay, the three techniques responsible for the B-gap. Peter gets back up, he peeks, he plays a little peekaboo right there, and then now Derek is able to circle him up, and you're going to watch DeAndre Hopkins, okay, taking his man and running him off, and then there's your stiff arm, right, making sure now that that thing right there is out in front of him, but DeAndre is running his guy off and finishing, and then protecting and taking care of himself. Okay, very rarely you're going to be able to run the football in from the 15-yard line, but that was a great example of us covering guys up, staying square, not dictating where the running back's going to run by putting our butt in a hole or anything like that, but we stayed square, and then now we let the runner run to daylight. Thanks for showing us that. Absolutely. That's awesome.